to create this design you need to add a blend then go to date mode select everything and then s x and scale it along the x axis in this way then add a center loop cut and tear then select this word and then g and y move it along the y axis in this way select these words and then control b and v add bevel on them and shape factor should be 0.1 so select this word and snap 3d cursor to there now select these words and then press s and y and scale them along the y axis in this way then you need to select these words and then control b and v and add a bevel on them now shift factor should be 0.4 and increase the bevel width uncheck this clamp overlap option give the bevel width like this and then increase the bevel segment and here you need to adjust this shape factor now select everything and s and y scale them along the y axis in this way select these words and g and y move it along the y axis now we need to create proper topology for this design i'm going to select this word and use the edge slide on it so you can get a proper curve at there select everything mesh and symmetrize take the symmetry along the x axis now select everything and then press m and merge by distance so double words will get merged then you need to select everything and use the insert operation like this now select these words and adjust their position in this way then use the knife tool and create cut like this then select everything mesh and symmetry to take the symmetry then select these edges and use the edge slide at there select everything mesh and symmetry to take the symmetry then select these edges like this and use the set flow on them now select everything and E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. Now select this face loop and then E to extrude it. Now rotate it into 90 degree angle. Set the origin to the geometry. Snap the 3D cursor to the world origin and snap this object to the world origin. In this way. Then select it. Then go to the modifier and add a simple deform modifier. And choose the bend option and choose the proper axis at there. Control A and apply the rotation and select this Z axis so you can bend it in this way. Then apply this simple deform modifier, then apply the scale, then go to the read mode. And now we need to add the body loop curves to maintain this form. Dissolve this edge, select these edges, and then Control B, add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel, shape factor should be one in this way. Then select these spaces and use the insert operation on them like this and add one loop cut here and then hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Uncheck this option. Now we need to maintain this sharper edges. Select this edge loop, select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. Then select this corner edge and control B add a bevel on it. Then select these faces and use the insert operation at there like this. Give the proper thickness. And same thing you need to do at the back side also. Select these faces and use the insert operation. Then select these words and merge them at the last and then dissolve this H. Same thing here. Select these words and merge them at the last. Then go to the bottom side. Select these words and merge them at the last. And then you can dissolve these edges. Go to the back side. Select these words and merge them at the last. Select these words and merge them at the last. And then dissolve these edges. Select these words, merge them at the last. And then dissolve these edges. Then select everything, mesh and symmetry, take the symmetry. And there you go, you will get this kind of design. Now here you can do one more thing, you can add one loop cut at here. And here also you can merge these words. And then you can dissolve the edges. So in this way we can create this kind of design. 
you can see the design you can see the form you can see the topology so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye in the next video take care